How many beans? Nine. Ten. Ten. Eleven. Four. So 11, 10 and 10, you win the bid. Games are a tool that we are using more and more in teaching for learning and for uh, encouraging dialogue. A game is a system. A game is a system where you make decisions and your decisions have consequences. And your consequences will depend on how smart you were processing information and also a little bit how lucky you were. At the end of the game, your purpose as an individual is to have the most beans your purpose as a team to win is to not have any red stones and if there's a tie, the team with the most beans wins. It's an ideal tool for examining how we manage risks, risk of extreme events. For example, there is an 80% chance of a hurricane hitting uh, somewhere in your country within 78 hours. Are you going to evacuate or not? Well. You can decide to act or to not act. So this team will prepare every time, which is guaranteed to end with no stones and no beans. This team will stand up only with a five, uh, with a six or more, thank you. This team with a five stands up and with a four doesn't. And this team improvises. Good, we have very different strategies. Round number one, roll your regional. One, two, and three. Very good. Please reveal if you got the forecast. A four, a six, and a two. Are you going to pay for preparedness or not? Don't roll yet. Pay your bean. You can invest in preparedness, which may cost one bean. You have to pay for it. You have to pay for the fuel, for the driver, etc. Once you have paid, you've prepositioned the relief items. What if the hurricane goes away? It's outside of your control. And there would be negative consequences if you act in vain. But much more negative consequences if you fail to act. Roll your white one, roll your local reins. My goodness, someone just got flooded. Pay me four beans. Four beans, it's a flood. So we have a die where, for example, a six represents no hurricane and everything else represents a hurricane. Category one, two, three, four, five. And after you've made your decision, we roll it and see what was the magnitude of the event, if there was one, and what were the consequences of your decision. If you paid for the forecast reveal, we did yeah. a one and an eight. We play increasingly complex games to inhabit the complexity of future risks and to explore your possible choices and your possible outcomes. It's a six, you're flooded. It's fun, it's serious fun.